Hello friend and welcome to the slowest sim driving channel on YouTube. I'm Grandpa Goes Gaming and this is race two of Seek the Sunrise. This is a 15 minute sprint race. For reduced points we've got Gentleman Drivers at the front, we've got Chim Chaser Richie. Uh, Dr Pepsi is the first of our league drivers uh, but they're in reverse league order. So Dr. Pepsi really is the first driver who's going to be trying to score some points to uh, to improve his position as he goes through this championship. We've also got Arden, Dens, and myself. We've got Mackie, McFlurry, Tweetman, Pedretti, John Boy, and Kevman. Uh, Kevman seems to have had some sort of an issue at the start, though. Not quite sure what's happened there. Let's hope we can catch back up. But right now, Chimp Chaser is dominating. Let's go to Dr. Pepsi, who's our highest placed league driver in second place he's only got 15 minutes to take as many places as he can uh, in the background we've got uh, Dens and Arden fighting I think yes we have they're going to be trying to catch up with Dr Pepsi so we've passed him in the league Dr Pepsi on the attack against Chim Chaser he's really shifting is he going to be able to get to Chim Chaser though before the descent because this is going to be a very very difficult place to pass unless of course Chim Chaser has an issue uh, he's a skilled driver, it's uh, it's not likely that he'll have an issue. Oh, well, somebody did then. That was Richie C, one of our gentleman drivers, who's just dropped it and he's retired the car. So, Jim Chaser leads from Dr. Pepsi. We've got Arden in third, quite a way back actually. And then Den's chasing Arden, and there's a little gap then to myself. Tweetman behind me, Tweetman's under attack at the moment by Espadretti. Tweetman and Pedretti have seen battle a lot together. Pedretti couldn't make the move there, he's looking again. Tweetman's also looking for a way through. Great action here in the midfield. Could Tweetman make a move into the final corner? He's looking. He's through. These drivers don't have to worry about fuel on these short races, but they do still have to take care of the tyres. And uh, this is the point in the, uh, the race weekend where the drivers will be using the softest compounds. So they'll have the most agile cars, but also the fastest wear. And that is myself out wide. And oh, John Boy with the save of the century. Espadretti up alongside Tweetman. Trying to take a move on that fifth place. Espadretti's passed, but he's on the outside. That's okay, Tweetman ducks back into the slipstream. That move is done. At the front of the pack, it is nose to tail. Dr. Pepsi trying to get past Chimp Chaser. Looks like he's trying everything he can to get past the black and gold car. This is a, a good chance for him. But perhaps he's generally good around here. And here we go. He's going to have the uh, the inside for the next part of the track. Let it be on the outside for that, uh, that heavy braking zone. Dr. Pepsi there was a little bit of a wibble as he uh, gets a wheel on the grass. But all's well. Look out in the background. Denz is approaching. Denz is a brutally fast driver. And Dr. Pepsi is going to need to get on with it. Get past Chim Chaser. Or he is going to be toast. Chimp Chaser setting the fastest lap of the race so far. But Doug Pepsi is up the inside. Is he alongside? He's not quite alongside. They're going to drag race up to turn two. Doug Pepsi's got a good run. They're side by side. And Doug Pepsi's on the outside for this corner. So he's going to struggle here. Dens looming ever closer in the rearview mirror. Dr. Pepsi later on the brakes, but couldn't quite make the move. And now he's got Dens all over him. Look out for Dens. Here he comes. He's caught up to the pipe very well, actually. Uh, Petretti's still quite a way back. We've lost Arden. I think Arden's had a, uh, a bit of an issue. Perhaps a penalty, because he's dropped down to 7th. So Esperetti now up to 4th. He'll be the next driver back from this battle. But there's still quite a gap back to him. We've just seen him in the background there. These three now all fighting over first place, and this is a great battle. Chimp Chaser doing really well to soak up the pressure. Dr. Pepsi doing well to pile on the pressure, and Dens is looking hot. Look out for Pedretti in the background, he's getting closer. As these three are tripping over each other at the front, this allowing Pedretti to catch up and get involved. Dens will be seeing uh, Pedretti getting closer in his mirror and he's going to want to get past Dr. Pepsi. Dr. Pepsi is being a little bit defensive so he's losing out to Chimp Chaser who's doing everything he can to just put the hammer down right now. 
and uh, well if you think you know who's going to win this then let me know because I don't know who's going to win it it's uh, it's all open and Petretti now in the mix Petretti and Dens both two very blisteringly fast drivers Dr Pepsi there it's just stepped out he's going to make a move into turn one Dr Pepsi looking for that move through he's done it he's done it so Chimp Chaser now has the slipstream on that long run down to turn two and he's going to need it because he's got some pressure from behind it looks like Dens has just dropped us Petretti a little bit Chimp Chaser now moving to the outside out of the slipstream into first place the lead changes hands again as we go into this uphill section Dens said he was looking for a move then but uh, he thought better of it at this point I'm not even halfway through the race yet my voice is already going so you'll be pleased to hear about that Chim Chaser there didn't quite get the, uh, the traction he needed and that's put him right into the clutches of Dens oh some wall sparks there Chim Chaser and Pedretti both taking liberties with that barrier and this front four have just checked out from the other seven Dr Pepsi doing a great job of getting away from this pack as Chimp Chaser defends from Dens Dens defends from Pedretti only a few points off before this race but it's going to affect the rest of the league and it'll affect the grid slots for the, uh, the feature race Dens with a move Oh, Espadretti takes advantage of uh, that move not coming off and sweeps through to third place. Oh, and then doesn't get the traction. Oh, and he just spears it into the wall. So Espadretti there has his uh, charge halted. Dens will be breathing a sigh of relief right now. And Chimp Chaser can perhaps set his sights back on to Dr. Pepsi up ahead. Dens there, fastest in the first sector going purple like he means it because let's be honest he does mean it we're over halfway now and Dens wants that win he wants to get past Chimp Chaser to chase after Dr Pepsi of course Dens in the league Chimp Chaser not in the league so he really wants to make sure he gets those points he may have forgotten that the gentleman drivers don't get points so Dens will be positioned as second in this in the scores right now so that must mean his target is Dr Pepsi and that first place spot but Dr Pepsi is getting away he is escaping Chim Chaser stays left Dens goes right so he's going to make Dens go the long way around but it's already done Dens did it with Slipstream Chim Chaser I think might have a go back but Dens covers off the, uh, the middle of the track and that is Dens up in second place Chim Chaser fought valiantly against a very fast driver but ultimately he's down to third place further back the field Kevman has caught up to Tweetman we have a serious pack on our hands here this lot all stuck together they can't get any clear ear to pull away and so, uh, so it is that Tweetman just manages to stay ahead of this big group but this is not the sort of group you want when you're racing at Bathurst. Those walls are close, those corners are tight. And it's very, very easy for the driver to push you into one of those walls. Oh, Tweetman there, out very wide. That could put John Boy on him. John Boy very, very close to Tweetman. Couldn't quite make anything of it. But Tweetman under real pressure. Oh, he's got the back end. Tweetman spins down to 10th place a disaster for Tweetman but of course for John Boy that was an open goal so John Boy now the best of the rest in 5th place albeit a long way behind Pedretti McFlurry going for the move McFlurry going for 5th place makes it stick Kevin had a look as well but John Boy just carried too much speed can he make it through? I think Kevman's done it. Can he hold on to sixth in the next corner? He can. So a great opportunistic bit of driving there from McFlurry and Kevman. And now it's McFlurry up to fifth position. With this long run to turn two. 
John Boy using all of those horses he's got at his disposal to try and power past Kevman. John Boy up into sixth. Kevman down into seventh. Arden there having a look at Kevman. Doesn't seem to have to do much from there. Can he go around the outside? He can't, so Arden there remains in eighth place. John Boy trying to hunt down McFlurry. He hasn't quite got the speed up here. There we go, Kevman trying to go around the outside of John Boy. He does it. I've got a dog licking the microphone. But uh, back to the racing action. John Boy there unable to get back past Kevman. So Kevman there acting as an impromptu rear gunner for McFlurry. He got a poor run there and John Boy was able to just scythe past. Arden tried to get past. I uh, couldn't quite manage it. He's side by side with Kevman at the moment. John Boy is blocking the pass uh, unwittingly, I believe. Oh, Kevman, a little bit of a, a bash there with Tweetman. We've seen many, many times Tweetman and Kevman rubbing each other up the wrong way. And uh, that seems to have happened this time and dropped both drivers down. John Boy there missed his braking and he's dropped all the way to 10th. So John Boy making a bit of a fluff of that one. But I believe this could be the final lap of the race. We've only got about a minute left on the timer, but less than a minute left on the timer. So definitely the last lap of the race. Dr. Pepsi has done everything right so far. He, uh, he got past the gentleman drivers at the start. He held his own against the likes of, of Denz and Pedretti. And he's just, he's done the business. So well done Dr. Pepsi so far. I don't want to jinx him too much because there's still, uh, still the descent to get through. And you know, if you can easily Austin Powers that car in this area and ruin your day. He's doing all right so far behind. Denz seems to have dropped off pace. So I think Dr. Pepsi may have this in the bag, this confirmation. This is the final lap. Just a few corners left. Don't let it go to your head, Dr. Pepsi. Don't drop it because this would be a great win for you. Dens there in the background, then right at the end of the shot, we had Chimp Chaser, who has done well. But it's Dr. Pepsi, who's just a few corners away from victory. Bless him. He's pushed like crazy. And he is a deserved winner. Here we go. So, across the finish line for the last time taking the checkered flag Dr Pepsi and then in second place we have Denz who fought his way through the field Jim Chaser the gentleman driver finishing in third Espadretti who was unlucky ends up in fifth uh, sorry fourth not fifth <laughs> uh, fifth is Kevman who's managed to get away from the rest of the pack by the look of it and then myself in sixth, we didn't really talk about me, but I was just, you know, vibing. John Boy in seventh. Arden in eighth. Tweetman in ninth. Uh, McFlurry is, is is parked, I think he's had some sort of incident. Uh, he's doing donuts there in tenth. Don't do too many donuts because, you know, uh, Mackie's still in this race, and there he is. Uh, so Mackie comes in tenth because McFlurry is too busy celebrating the, the race. Congratulations to Dr. Pepsi, our winner in the round two sprint race. Thank you for joining us here at this gorgeous circuit. And I hope you'll join us again next time for the feature race. But until then, bye bye for now.